Hey guys, it's Sam and it's theme number 13 in the hashtag Disney Drawing Challenge 2016 started by myself and Crazy Comic Lady. Links down in the description below to her videos and her artwork. For this theme, it was Draw Your Favorite Sidekick and I had the hardest time thinking of one and I don't know why I didn't just go look up the list of like movies and TV shows and stuff, but I guess I was feeling, feeling a little lazy and I went with Nani, but I'm not sure if she counts as a sidekick, but oh well, I drew her anyway. <laughs> I kind of went with something a little bit more easier with this one. Like I said in the last video, I kind of want to just chill for a little bit, so this one's mostly just, it's, it's a sketch. <laughs> but I do have something big, big planned for uh, the next theme, which is kind of why, another motivation as to why I wanted to have some easy ones in between. But you know, it came out okay. For it, you know, it's a sketch. It's not like a completed picture. <laughs> I like the idea. I'm not sure if, like, I executed it that well. But I mean, if I spent more time rendering it and working on it, it probably would have come out way better. But oh well, ain't nobody got time for that. I'm too lazy, and I just wanted to get it done mostly because I really wanted to work on the next theme. <laughs> so uh, Sam has run out of things to say. <laughs> So Alex to the rescue, apparently. <laughs> Looks like we got some flowers here. And oh, there's a person. I forgot that was there. I was wondering. I remember seeing this drawn, but I wasn't sure what was going to happen because I forgot. Now, now I see it. it's that one it's character. It's the magic from... of uh, layers. Layers, man. Layers. Know, yeah. Man. So uh, art tip, guys. Use layers. <laughs> yeah. Um... All right, guys, so uh, Sam here. Alex has uh, run out of things to say, so, you know, Sam to the rescue. <laughs> we're, uh, we're drawing a person here, uh, you know, the chick from that one movie, Lilo and Stitch and all, the sister, yeah. Those eyebrows look kind of big right there. I don't know what you were thinking. Because I was shading, I was going to erase it all later. It's called layers. As we were saying, layers, those are good, use them. Um, it's not like it's a necessity, man. So yeah, there's, there's some art technique commentary there that could be made that would be educational, but I'm not quite sure how to word it about that <laughs> eyebrow thing that just happened. What eyebrow the thing? The one where they were big for shading and then I, they got small again. Because I erased I, it. I, I, yeah, so... Uh, Erasing, guys. That's the tip Alex is getting at. That's, that's part of it. It was more nuanced than that. Let's go with it. So now what you see here is some, uh, some cursor movements over the <laughs> hair. <laughs> Possibly adding some some lighter color to the to the darker it's, it, color. It's pretty subtle. Yeah, but it, yeah. it makes a difference. It adds up. It makes a difference, guys. Right. So so you just you gotta move that cursor around a lot, really fast. Like in uh. Yeah. If it doesn't go this fast, then you're doing something wrong. Shading, right? That seems like a thing that's important on pictures, and as you can see here, some of that's being done right now. Um, what you want to do is you want to take some color that's darker than the thing that is currently the thing and apply it to the first thing. Um, and uh, now we're doing highlights. That's basically the opposite of shading. You take a lighter color. Um, you, you should probably think about light and how that works because uh, that's relevant to how you do these two things. Uh, moving on here, um, you see that every once in a while you'll want to zoom in. You want to check those details. Uh, now we're working on the eyes. Uh, you want you want to add just like some random white speckles in there. That that always makes them look more like actual eyes. And uh, yeah, um, as we can see, we're uh, well. I thought we were about done, but now we're not apparently. Um, got some got some weird color spatter going on there. I'm sure that means something and does something for the piece. Uh, so yeah, play around with that. Just like take some random color and just like just just just, just throw spray it, on, it there. on there. Yeah, just, just everywhere haphazardly. Um, as you can see, that that kind of makes it look more artsy. Um, that's that's what you're here for, right? To learn how to art. I, I think so. That that's my understanding of this whole thing. Um, yeah. So so now now we're basically kind of done. We have <laughs> nope nope we're not. There's still more to go. <laughs> I don't know I'm how I'm erasing it. some of the lines to making it look a little bit less sketchy, even though it's still a sketch. Ah, see, there you go. You've learned something today. Um, color, I didn't, color but you know, right hopefully there. you did. Oh, there's a signature. That's going down. It always goes down last. And there's your uh, post uh, image. And uh, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. 
Uh, I know this was this is this is good for me. I hope it was good for you too. And uh, bye. <laughs>